hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Welcome to Palm Sunday. Another Sunday where we come to exalt the King, to lift up the King. My Lord Jesus, we exalt you. If you come here to worship, if you come here to praise, let me see you lift your hands and worship the Lord Almighty. Hallelujah, Father, we bless you. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. No matter what I have to do, God, I need you forever. I'm chasing after you. No matter what I have to do, God, I need you forever. Say I'm chasing, I'm chasing after you. No matter what I have to do, God, I need you forever. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you. Lord Jesus, we thank you that today you declare yourself as the King of Peace and as the Messiah. We give you praise, we give you glory for what you've done, what you have done, and what you will do. Thank you for entering Jerusalem peacefully. That you did not come as a king of conquest, but you came as a king of peace. We thank you for bringing us peace. We thank you for salvation. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the name. The one that come in the name of the Lord. We thank you that you came to save now. We give you praise. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on, some people are glowing. Come on, they're glowing. Come on, they're glowing. Oh, come on, somebody give him praise. Ready for that? It's one of the glory. Thank you, Lord. Celebrate you guys today. Glory to God, gladness. We celebrate you. 
And the mighty pastor machine will celebrate you. Oh man of God, Gloria. God bless you. Anybody else agree? Oh, Amen. Let's celebrate you today. Hallelujah. Happy birthday to you all. Let's go with the band. Normally we will do that in the morning. But as you know, we had a virtual service today. Yes. Amen. Amen. And today we want to cut it short a little bit. We want to give time for the teaching, preaching, a lot of worship. All of God and awesome. Praise Amen. Amen. Awesome. Awesome. I'm not going to be this year. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Normally they will come back and do special now and they're going to flow into the word of God. Amen. After I finish, we're going to go into worship. Amen. Amen. Into worship. I'm trusting God for something to release from the courts of hell. Amen. Amen. It's going to be blessed. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Let's go quick to Revelation 1, 4, and 7. Today's message is seven spirits of God. Seven spirits of God. I've never preached before. I've preached a lot of stuff. You guys know. I've preached so much. Teach so much. But I got this few days ago. Seven spirits of God. And then we're going to talk. After I explain what is the seven spirit of God. We're going to talk the anointing associated with the seven spirit of God. Oh, you better go ahead now. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Even I was preparing, I was dancing. I was praising oh, God. Right. The Lord, I want the seven yeah. spirit. Amen. What we're going to declare today in the teaching. And as we declare, miracle will happen. Amen. Deliverance will happen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, let's go quick. Revelation 1, 4, and 7. I'm going to teach this to bring understanding. Father, we thank you. Revelation 1, 4, and 7. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits of God. And from this seven spirit of God who are before is strong. The Bible, John is greeting the church. He's greeting seven churches. Yes. And the way he greet them is started with grace and peace. From who is and who was and who is to come. And from the seven spirit of God. He's giving greeting to the church that even the seven spirit of God is greeting the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. And when he started it, he's getting grace and praise from him who is, who was, and who is to come. And from the seven spirits, who and before is strong. Wow. Come on. When you read it, you say seven spirit. Where are these seven spirit? <laughs> and remember, Apostle Paul received a revelation from God. He said the seven spirit are where? In the throne of God. God the Father is there. And the seven spirit of God were before is strong. Also he said, I'm from Jesus Christ. The faithful witness, the false born from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth. To him who love us and watch us from our sins in his own blood. In his own blood. When I see it, and I read this, and I found that, that the seven spirit of God are before the throne of God. Yes, sir. The first thing that came to me is the court of heaven. Yes. Yes. Come on. Yes. They were there yes. in his throne. Why do I say that? Please, go with me to Daniel 7.10. Uh -oh. The court of heaven, they were right there. I 
behind the throne of God. I'm trusting God today that the seven spirits will be issued from the courts of heaven for you today. Hallelujah. As we begin to declare, if you declare, it shall be so in Jesus' name. Amen. There are several spirit of God at the courts of heaven. Go to Daniel 17. It said a fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. A thousand, thousands ministered to him. Ten thousand. 10,000 stood before him. So right before him, the Bible said 10,000 and 10,000 stood before him. Guess what? The seven spirits of God is also before him. Yes, sir. It's also before him in the court of heaven. And he said, the court was seated. And the books were open. So today I'm trusting God from the cause of heaven that the seven spirit of God will be issued from his throne. Yes, sir. Now, let me also show you will be issued from his throne. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Why do I say the cause of heaven? Let's also go to Psalms 97 two. Psalms 97.2. You know, some might be telling me, okay, what do you mean by the court of God? How can it be the court of God? Well, Psalm 97.2 says, clouds and darkness surround him. Righteousness and what? Justice. And the foundation of his throne. Foundation of his throne. Right to teach. Righteousness and justice. Yes. The word justice that tells me it is the court of heaven. Amen. And it is issued from his throne. Thomas the seven spirit of God. Seven spirit of God. Say one more time. Say seven spirit of God. Lord. Release your spirit upon me today in the name of Jesus. I'm trusting you for that seven spirit of God to be issued from his throne upon my life in Jesus' name. Now let's go to Isaiah. Isaiah 11, 1 and 2. 11, 1 and 2. He said, There shall come forth a rod from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his root. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom. And understanding the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, the spirit of knowledge, and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Amen. There's a prophecy Isaiah is giving to us in the Old Testament. Yes, he was prophesying the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Is yes, it the stem? Of Jesse who come forth a rod, a rod who come from the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his root. He's talking about Jesus. And when you spoke about Jesus, he said there are seven spirits that will be upon him. Hallelujah. Seven spirits. Number one. I know in the court of heaven, Revelation told us that seven spirits are before him. Most of us now say, okay, what are the seven spirits? Well, it's right here. Isaiah prophesied this. He said, Jesus will be influenced, will be 
anointed Amen. with seven spirit of God. Amen. And the first one is the spirit of the Lord. Amen. The Bible says that the spirit of the Lord will come upon Jesus. The first thing that comes is the spirit of the of the Lord. Yes. Then he said, the spirit of wisdom will come upon him. Amen. Then he said, the spirit of understanding will also come upon him. The spirit of counsel will come upon him. The spirit of might will come upon him. The spirit of knowledge will come upon him. And the spirit of the fear of the Lord will come upon Jesus. Will come upon Jesus. They are seven. The first one is the spirit of the Lord. Somebody say, Heavenly Father, let the spirit of the Lord come upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, let the Spirit of the Lord come upon me now in the mighty name of Jesus. You will see before anything come or came upon Jesus, the first thing that came was the Spirit of the Lord. Was the Spirit of God. That means the Spirit of God is in operation in Jesus' life. I declare over you today that the Spirit of God will be in operation in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. That you will be influenced by the spirit of the Lord and rebuke any other spirit. Every diabolical power and printed in the name of Jesus. And let the spirit of the Lord be released upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. That you will be influenced by the spirit of the Lord. You will be anointed by the spirit of the Lord. Nothing will be able to change your cause. You will serve the Lord for the rest of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. As I have said, and the spirit of the Lord shall come upon him. I pray that the spirit of the Lord will come upon you. Amen. To strengthen you. Amen. To empower you. Amen. To ignite the fire of God inside of you. In the name of Jesus. Number two is the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. Hallelujah. We're going to declare this, this today. And I want you when you pray this month, pray for this seven spirit, your life will change. Amen. This seven spirit impacted Jesus' life. And Jesus used this seven spirit to impact the whole world. The spirit of the Lord. Tell your neighbor the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Mind you, this was a prophecy. Isaiah prophesied this hundred of years before Jesus yes. was born. Hundreds of years. He said he will come from the roots of David and he will be anointed by seven spirit. One is the spirit of the Lord. Number two, spirit of wisdom. Hallelujah. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father anoint, me anoint me with spirit of wisdom. Spirit of wisdom. Heavenly, Father, Heavenly Father, anoint me, anoint me just the way you anointed Jesus with spirit of wisdom. What is spirit of wisdom? Spirit of wisdom, we need that. Is what to do anything. Amen. Amen. In other words, you don't need knowledge. You don't need understanding to make decisions. The Lord will tell you exactly what you need to do. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. He will tell you exactly what you need to do. It's a spirit that solves problems. Amen. 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 Spirit of wisdom. Someone say spirit of wisdom. Yeah. Number three, spirit of understanding. 
spirit of understanding. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father anoint, me anoint me with the spirit of understanding. Spirit of understanding. It's a spirit that can solve every mystery. Yes. Understand mysteries. Hallelujah. 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 That's what Solomon prayed for. Actually, he prayed for spirit of understanding. Yes, yes. yes. Hallelujah. He right. solved every issue. A lot of us are going through something right now. If you have the spirit of wisdom and spirit of understanding, you will solve it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Spirit of understanding. The next one is spirit of counsel. Yes. Can you say spirit of counsel? Yes. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. Anoint, me anoint me with spirit of counsel. Yes. Next one, spirit of might. Can we say spirit of might? Say, yeah. Heavenly Father, Father, anoint me tonight Father, with, with, with spirit of might in Jesus' name. Jesus name. The next one is spirit of knowledge. Mm. To be able to know revelation knowledge. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father anoint, me anoint me with spirit of knowledge. Spirit of knowledge. The next one is spirit of the fear of the Lord. Spirit of the fear of the Lord. Amen. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Amen. Yes, yes. So the wisdom of this world is foolishness unto God. Yes. Without yes. relationship with God. Amen. Hallelujah. Spirit of the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Those that have wisdom are the people that fear God. Amen. 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 Come on, how many fear the Lord? Amen. How many truly, truly fear the Lord? Oh, yes, indeed. When you fear the Lord, it is the beginning of wisdom. Amen. Amen. I pray in the name of Jesus, the Lord will give you the spirit of fear of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, from this anointing, there are seven spirits, but there are seven anointing associated with this seven spirit. Amen. Amen. There are seven anointing associated with this spirit of God. And from this anointing of this seven spirit, Jesus imparted the heart and the people with the seven. Amen. You will see Jesus did not start his ministry until after baptism. Amen. Amen. After baptism, something happened. Yes, sir. That tells me Jesus didn't really have the seven spirit of God before baptism. Amen. Something happened after he baptized. The Bible makes us understand that when he baptized, something miraculously happened. Mm. The heaven opened. Yes, sir. Yes. Come on. The spirit of God came down bodily. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Bodily. Not just a trickle of an anointing no, no, no. of presence Ooh. of God. That's what the, the Bible says. Are, are you with me? You know what the Bible says? Uh -huh. It says, the spirit of the Lord yeah. no, descended yeah. like a what? Bodily yeah. form. Yeah. Not just a trickle of the spirit. Oh, God gave Jesus the fullness of his spirit. Yeah. When Jesus was anointed after baptism, the servant spirit was Yes. Because of it, Isaiah prophesied that yes. that this seven spirit is going to be upon him. Amen. Without this seven spirit, Jesus cannot function in his ministry. Amen. Okay. Hello. Amen. And you too, saints. Right. Without this seven spirit, you cannot function adequately. Amen. That's why we struggle. Amen. Amen. That's why we don't know what to do. That's why we don't.
don't know what is going to happen. Yes. My Lord. When you have the spirit of wisdom, mm. you know what will happen tomorrow. Yes, yes. Come on. You know what will happen next month. Yes. Hallelujah. It is the spirit of wisdom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. Oh, when you have the spirit of understanding, you can solve mystery. Oh, yes. I'm talking about national mysteries. Yes. Amen. You can solve national problems. Yes. Daniel, the spirit of God, they yes. have the spirit. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's what Daniel stood before the king. He said, I, I can interpret it. Joseph, said the same thing. And Daniel, they couldn't interpret the dream. Mm. Daniel said, yeah, I can do it. Not by my might. Yes. Everything belongs to God. Yes. Ah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. That's right. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father. Release, your spirit release your spirit from your throne, from, your throne. from the court of heaven, the seven spirit of God upon my life. Heavenly Father, release it now. Release it now. Spirit of the Lord, let it be issued from your throne. The spirit of wisdom be issued from your throne. Spirit of understanding be issued from your throne. Spirit of counsel be issued from your throne. Spirit of mind be issued from your throne. Spirit of knowledge be issued from your throne. Spirit of the fear of God. Be issued from your trouble. Amen. Hallelujah. When Jesus baptized, this seven spirit of God was released upon him. The fullness of the seven spirit. And Jesus used the seven spirit to impart the earth. He imparted the earth and the people there. We too should petition. Amen. Amen. We should petition the court of heaven. Yes. Amen. What that be my petition? Lay a demand. Ask God to give you the same spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The spirit of the Lord. Ask God to give it to you. The spirit of wisdom. Hallelujah. The spirit of understanding. Yes. The spirit of mind. Yes. The spirit of mind is to do great things. The spirit of counsel. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I've been praying when we are coming here. I've been praying in the Holy Ghost. I want everything. I want increase. Hallelujah. There's no limit in God. Hallelujah. I want everything. Come on, you will see after the restoration, I'll be, I'll be a different man. They didn't believe it. <laughs> Tell your neighbor after resurrection, I will be a different person. Now the spirit of the Lord we increase in my life. I prophesy. It shall be so. Isaiah, Isaiah prophesied over Jesus and it came to pass. I am prophesying over myself and it's going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass. Come on, tell someone, it's going to come to pass. I know it. I declare it. I declare it. I declare it today. That the Spirit of the Lord will be upon me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Spirit of wisdom will be upon me. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of understanding will be upon me. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of counsel will be upon me. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of mind will be upon me. In the name of Jesus, spirit of knowledge will be upon me. In the name of Jesus, spirit of the fear of God will be upon me. In the name of Jesus, even now I begin to prophesy. I begin to prophesy in the now. I prophesy in the now, no after resurrection. Oh, they didn't get it. I said, no after resurrection. It's starting now. I'm entering resurrection with the spirit of the Lord. I'm entering resurrection with the spirit of wisdom, with the spirit of understanding, with the spirit of counsel, with the spirit of mind, with the spirit of knowledge, with the spirit of the Lord. It's happening now. Look at me. It's happening now. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. The spirit of wisdom. Today, not tomorrow. It's starting today. I will begin to function.
Jesus. Look 
fall? Oh, I'll take my time. We gotta go. Now in Luke 4, 18 and 19, Jesus is the one speaking. And Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. He has to proclaim the liberty to the captive. And recovery of sight to the blind. To set at liberty those who are oppressed. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Now you will see here, Isaiah prophesied seven spirit of God. In Isaiah 11, 1 to 2. Sevenfold Spirit of God. I just named him the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of Wisdom, the Spirit of Understanding, the Spirit of Counsel, the Spirit of Mind, the Spirit of Knowledge, and the Spirit, spirit of the Spirit of the uh, of fear of the law. Of fear of the law. Now, how are these connected? Following what? The man of God gave to us. Let's go over the one one more time. Number one is the spirit of the Lord. Lord. Let's go to Luke 4, 8, 18. Even before I go there, how many? How many anointing that Jesus mentioned here in Luke 4? Oh, you can't get there already? Very good. Very good. Number one is? We come upon us. Jesus speaking, right? Yeah. Jesus was in the temple. Yeah. He opened the book and he began to read. Yeah. Actually, he was read, reading, read, um, reading what? The prophecy of Isaiah. Yeah. He was reading, reading what? Reading the prophecy of Isaiah. Yeah. And he started with what? The Spirit of the Lord is all upon, upon me. Yeah. Number two. Come on. He has what? To do what? To preach the gospel. That tells us the spirit of wisdom gives the ability to preach the gospel. Hallelujah. Spirit of wisdom is the ability to preach the gospel. Number three. Amen. Amen. The people, he has sent me to heal the broken Adam. So that comes that to heal the broken Adam is the spirit of understanding. It is the spirit of understanding. Number four. To proclaim what? Liberty. To proclaim liberty, it is the spirit of counsel. Mm. It is the spirit of counsel. Next. So what? Recovery of sight to the blind. Recovery of sight to the to the blind. What spirit is in operation? The spirit of mind. Amen. Spirit of mind. Spirit of mind is not only to heal. Spirit of mind is to do big things for miracle, creative miracle. Amen. Spirit of mind is to do great deeds for the law. Spirit of mind. Next one. How many do we have now? 
to proclaim liberty to the captive. Okay, we read that? What number are you in? Six. Six. What's number six? Knowledge. Say it again. Captive. Liberty. That's knowledge. Spirit of? Then the last one? Jubilee. To proclaim. Amen? Amen. Are you with me? Oh, yeah. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Mm -hmm. That is the sphere of the Lord. It's the sphere, sphere of the Lord. I will go by it one more time so we can get it. I want you to speak with me. The spirit of counsel. The spirit of counsel. Amen. Now. The Spirit of the Lord was upon him. He declared the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. That's number one. Number two, he declared that the Spirit of wisdom is what produces the gospel being preached to the poor. Then when we follow this train, we will see the Spirit of understanding anointed him to heal the broken hearted. Is to heal the broken hearted. I mean, we pray for this today. I mean, declare the seven upon them. Hallelujah. When you receive the seven, not only to heal you, the broken hearted, not only for you to benefit, also it's for you, for others. That's right. Amen. 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 Jesus received it not for himself. Jesus received it for his ministry. Amen. Jesus received it to do what? To go to the street, to go to the highway, to go to the byway. Hallelujah. Amen. To speak to your customer. Amen. Glory to God. To talk to your client. Amen. To pray for them. Amen. Because the spirit of mind is upon you. Amen. If they are sick, pray for them. Amen. Don't call the pastor. Amen. 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 Why do you call the pastor? If the spirit of the Lord is upon you, the spirit of wisdom is upon you, the spirit of understanding is upon you. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. The spirit of counsel is upon you. Amen. 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 The spirit of understanding is upon you. Amen. The spirit of mind is upon you. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. If it's upon you, you don't need to call me. Amen. I might be taking a nap. Amen. I am be traveling. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This seven spirit is not for you to sit on it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Anointing is for a reason and for a season. Amen. You didn't have God to give it to you to sit on it. No. You have God to give it to you so it can function. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You will see the moment Jesus was baptized, the spirit came upon him. What happened? Actually, the Bible makes us understand that the Spirit of God led him to the women. Amen. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. It's about time we need to be led by the Spirit of the Lord. Yes. Not doing what we want to do, but yes. do what God wants us to do. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. No, it's okay to be praised. Hallelujah. The moment you got baptized, guess what happened? The seven Spirit of God came upon him. And when you read the next sentence, the Bible says that the Spirit of the Lord did what? Led him. Led him. He said he was led yes. into the wilderness. He started his ministry. Yes. He began to pray. He began to fast. Guess what happened? When he came out from the wilderness, guess what happened? The devil. It was showtime. Even with the devil, it was the spirit of God in him. That's why he overcame the devil. Without the spirit of God, you cannot overcome the devil. Hello? Because the Bible tells us when we wrestle, we wrestle not with flesh and blood. With principality and power. The spirit of God was upon him. Even he rebuked the devil. He said, man shall not live by bread alone. Yes, if you've been living by 
my breath is long, it's time to change that. Right. Oh boy. <laughs> but every word that what that proceeded from the mouth of the living God. Are you hearing me? Amen. So the spirit of understanding anointed to heal the broken heart. Amen. It is the spirit of understanding. In other words, you understand what they are going through. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. And give it the anointing to heal. Amen. The spirit of counsel is to set the captive free. No, no, no. Hallelujah. To set the captive free. That's the difference. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's deliverance. The spirit of understanding and knowing to heal the broken hearted is to heal. It's an emotional healing. Mental healing. Amen. Amen. And that's what I'm telling you, God, not only heal physically, he heal spiritually. Amen. He heal emotionally. Amen. He heal mental yes, yes. healing. Amen. 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 Today, if you have that issue, we pray for you. Amen. Amen. And Jesus will heal you. Amen. Glory to God. It's not only physical. People understand it's physical healing. Mental healing. God will heal. Spiritual healing. He healed. Broken hearted. He healed them. Amen. Those are me are impacted. He healed them. Hallelujah. It will be healed our soul. Amen. Amen. He healed our wound. Amen. Yeah. Oh, when we talk about unforgiveness, it's what? When somebody offends you, yeah. it's your soul. You need to be what? Yeah. To be healed. Yeah. It's your soul. Amen. 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 It's your soul. When we pray for God to heal our wound, it's our soul. Because the issue of life is our death. That's why when someone begins to repent and cry, you know what's happening? Healing of those pain has been released yeah. from your soul. Yeah. Been released from your soul. And the Lord will heal your heart today. Yeah. The Lord will heal your soul today. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will set you free today. Because the spirit of the Lord is upon you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Also the spirit of counsel. To set the captive free. Spirit of night causes recovery to the blind. Mama, man. Hallelujah. Amen. Recovery to the blind. It's an anointing Amen. to heal the blind. Amen. Amen. I remember years ago I, I went to India and I find out in India we, where Pastor Edwin and I we went to every city. Then normally I would finish in um, Mumbai. Then from Mumbai, I would preach that the same day I'm living. I would preach, and at night, I would go to the airport. The flight leave from Mumbai to London around 2 a.m. in the morning. So I was preaching in Mumbai, and they brought the twin. There were two girls. They brought it to me. They were blind. Mm -hmm. And I find that they call it night blindness. During the day they will see. But at night they cannot see. Then I found out, right? It's a sickness like that. Yeah. Night blindness. Have you seen that before or heard that before now? It's very common over there. During the day they can see. At night they cannot see at all. So the grandmother actually brought them to the altar to pray. And these people, they were Muslim, they were not Christian. It's all right. Amen. All right. Amen. You see, the anointing is not only for the Christian. Come on, right. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. 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 When I used to go to those nations, I found out how merciful and how compassion oh. is our God. Yeah. 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 Oh, that whoa! These people don't know Jesus. They are Hindu. They have a lot of God. And they will come to the altar. They will think they will leave their God. What they're trying to do is to have Jesus to their God. So when they need healing, they come to Jesus. No, I'm serious. But God was the merciful. He had compassion. Amen. I found in the Bible, the Bible said Jesus had compassion and healed everybody. He healed 
everybody, yes. not only believers, right. not only people that know him. Right. Come on, some people don't know him, they just want to receive from him. Right. But you say, I understand, I know your heart, you don't love me, you are just coming to me to receive healing from me. You see, heal them. That's right. Come on. This, don't forget, they were Muslims. Yes. They brought them in the altar and lay hands on them and pray in the name of Jesus. That's what happened. Their eyes opened. Hallelujah. Their eyes opened. Glory to God. Also in India, I found people that were deaf and dumb. Deaf and dumb. They are not Christian. They were Muslim. Hallelujah. So when I go on crusade, I say, God, give me the sound spirit of God. Not only you heal fever, you can heal the blind. That's right. Not oh, only might bring any, you can heal the dead. Right. When that spirit is upon you, hey. there's no limit in God. Hey. Hallelujah! Hey. Hallelujah! Hey. Seven spirit of God. They brought some, some of them to me. They were deaf and dumb. Yes. Never spoke before. Even the Zander one in Kenya, Pastor Masha was there with me. Uh -huh. There was this boy who was deaf and dumb uh -huh. from his mother's womb. From his mother's womb. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. And we pray, pray in Jesus' name instantly. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, someone said, Spirit of Mind. Spirit of Mind. Instantly the boy spoke. Wow. But he was not speaking well. Yeah. I'll tell you another one. This is not really happened. Amen. Amen. If your co-worker is sick, don't call me. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Spirit of mind is upon you. Amen. How do you know it's upon you? If you don't pray, you will know. Amen. 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 If you don't pray, you will never know what you got. And the devil don't want to know what you got. He wants to be ignorant. He will not want to preach this message. Why you preach this message? It's our spirit. Amen. Amen. And I'm telling you, when the spirit of the Lord is upon you, the devil will have dominion over you. Hallelujah. You will be built in the name of the Lord. Because the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Hallelujah. When the spirit of God is upon you, you will be unstoppable.
in Baltimore. They will remember it. And uh, they brought a lady that was deaf and dumb yes. from uh, New Jersey. I mean, what they? I mean, remember that? Yeah, yeah, remember that? The man, the brother. I didn't even know. This is that brought up to the altar. I didn't even pray. What do you remember that? I didn't even yeah. pray. You remember what God told me to do? Yeah. Take off my coat. Yeah. I didn't know that my coat got spit off. Hey, hey. Right. Come on. Yeah. No, I'm serious. I didn't know that brother. I just heard in the spirit, take off your coat and throw it on him. Oh, sorry, on her. It was a lady. Yeah. Take off your coat. I don't know what she was going through. The anointing was so strong. Man, great, mighty, great anointing. So I obeyed. I took off my jacket and I threw it on this lady. Guess what happened? She fell under the anointing. Man, I don't have coat today. Oh. <laughs> I don't have coat today. But guess what I have? It's a true story. They were there. They saw it. It's the spirit of God. It's not the spirit of man. When that same spirit of God landed upon you, I truly believe you caught it. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. You just have to walk in it. Yeah. And how do you know? By praying for someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I truly believe it. You have it in the now. Yeah. Yes, Amen. Yeah. I threw it on her. She went under the anointing. When she got up, she spoke and she up. Amen. Amen. And she yeah. never spoke before. 29 years. Yeah. For how long? 29 years. 29 years. Yeah. Yeah. 29 years. Yeah. Come on, give glory to God. Give the seven spirit of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not the one doing it. Give it the spirit of the Lord. Jesus said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me give one more. Then we're going to worship and begin to pray. Also, prophetic going to be flowing. Hallelujah. Who has spine issue here? The Lord going to heal that. Oh, spine. I didn't know. That's not. Huh? Huh? Nobody knows. Wow. That spirit of wisdom. Amen. I don't know. She never tell me. You know? Spine. I don't know. The Lord's going to heal you today. Amen. The Lord's going to heal you today. The Lord's going to heal you today. That's the spirit of wisdom. Amen. Amen. Wow. The Lord's going to heal. Somebody here to oppress about some issues. The Lord will set you free today. Hallelujah. The Lord will set you free today. Amen. 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 Also, I hear about the spirit that somebody here is like, once in a while something is crawling on your head. Yeah. Oh, it's me. Yes. It's crawling. Oh. Yes. The Lord will heal you today. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's like somebody put something on your head. A movement is done. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give God praise. Let me also tell you another one in America. So when I say, okay, it's only one that happened in America. <laughs> we have a list of miracle healing deliverances Amen. in this church. Yes. Amen. So at the time, we need to begin to put it on flyers and yeah. let them know that the spirit of the Lord is upon this church. Yeah. The spirit of wisdom is upon this church. The spirit of understanding is upon this church. It's okay to make noise. It's okay to tell the world. Let them know that we have the spirit of the Lord. The spirit of counsel is here. Hallelujah. It's here. And the fear of God is here as well. Amen. Okay. I'll give you one more. Then we'll begin to worship all of God. I want us to worship the Lord today. And as I'm trying not to lay hands, let the Lord do it. Amen. The spirit is here. Huh? Rest in Him. Let's do to worship and to worship. Lift up our hands and be singing. The spirit is here. 
Amen. Some of you, even the seven spirit of God, you will receive, receive it today during worship. Amen. 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 Only amen on that side. Oh. Amen. Amen. All right. Let me give you one more, then I will stop. We have time. That's why we start like the call this be short. Hallelujah. Seven o'clock. Begin to worship. There's another young man that was in the church. Yes, back. Some of you also know him. His name is Richard. We know him. Amen. His name is Richard. Very good. Very good. I think they invited him to church the first day. You did it. Came to the church and during service, the spirit of wisdom came. And the Lord told me that somebody had a problem with their eye. And his own issue was not spirit issue. Mm -hmm. The night blind, blindness, I believe, is a spiritual problem. Mm -hmm. So the night blindness is a spirit. But his own, he said he had an accident. Mm -hmm. Windshield came into his eye. And one side, I believe, it was left. Yes. Left. And he became blind after that day. Yes. Spirit of wisdom was so High, heavy in that day. That was called word of wisdom. Word of wisdom. No, sorry, word of knowledge was so high in that day. And the Lord said that there's somebody here that's blind on their left eye. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I've never met this guy before. God just spoke. And the first time I mentioned it, I said, Somebody here is blind. They mean I want to heal them. He was shocked. He didn't get up, he didn't come. But he's not told me again, there's somebody here. He said, how can you know about his business? <laughs> oh. He doesn't know me. He just came from Jamaica during that time to America. And he's also in that spirit of knowledge. That's good. That's correct. Knowledge. Word of knowledge. Past and present. Then he came and I asked him, he said, it's him. I said, which eye? He said, it's left. He said, but how do you know? Spirit of? And then we pray. Lay hands on him. Guess what? God healing the same day. Amen. 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 I'm going to give one more, not testimony, but what God wants to do in this dispensation. We'll be away praying, fasting, and seeking God. God said He want to raise financier in this church. Amen. 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 Financier of the kingdom. Amen. 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 We pray for that and say we want to raise them up in this church. Amen. Because I refuse to pray first for God to bring them in. What's Amen. wrong with us? Woo. Hello. What's wrong with us? Amen. He has to stand for us. Amen. He has to stand here. Amen. And he will raise you up. Amen. If you are not a tithe, I start giving. Amen. If you are not a giver, I start giving. Amen. Amen. Because I'm serious. God will not make you a financier if you don't give. Amen. God does not make stingy people. Boy. Can I go there? I want to pray for that. No, I'm serious. I want to pray for that. God will never give a stingy Do you know why? You want to know why? Because when God gives you money, it's not only for you. When God bless you, it's not only for you and your family. Amen. God is thinking about everybody that is connected to you. Everybody that you know. Hallelujah. Not only you and not only your family. Hallelujah. That's the God that will serve. Our God's a good God. He has everybody in mind. So when somebody is stingy, you know what God will do? He won't give it to them. And if you who cannot talk about this, I feel the anointing. That's it. That's also the word, the spirit of wisdom. To preach the God. I don't get that. The spirit of wisdom. And if you are connected to somebody that is stingy, 
God will not really see to you. Hello? Hello? If you are too close to somebody that is stingy, God will not give you one because that person can influence you not to be a blessing to others. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. You know what God will do? The first thing, you are generous, the first thing God will do, He will get rid of that person that is connected to you, that will stop you from not being a blessing to others. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He will get rid of them. That's why sometimes, listen to me, look at The spirit of wisdom is in this place. That's why sometimes, before we see some breakthrough, there's a delay. There's a delay. Maybe we associate it, we associate it with somebody that is stingy, somebody that is influencing your life. Not to be. Amen. Or with somebody that has a worldly attraction. No, I'm serious. If you want to be a financier of the kingdom of God, check around you. Who are you associating yourself with? Amen. Can I give a good example? In the scripture? Yes, sir. Abraham and Lot. Hello? Every lot. Love must go. I said, love has to go. Every love in your life, they must go. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every love in my life must go. Now, because I am ready to be a financier of the kingdom of God. Love, help me. Of love in my life. Every love must go. In the mighty name of Jesus. They must pack themselves, they stop and go. They have to go down without notice. I won't give them notice. They have to go now. Love must go. I say, love must go. I say, love must go. Because I am ready to receive my breakthrough. I want to be a financier of the kingdom of God. Yes! Yes! Lord must go! Let me tell you. Do you know that's why Abraham's blessing took so long? Because what? Lord was with him. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. I'm serious. We'll teach you one day. Because Lord had the spirit of the world. Lord was materialistic. Lord was worldly. Can I prove it to you? God blessed both of them. And the land was too small for them. Who followed who? Did Abraham follow Lord or Lord follow Abraham? Very good. When the land is too big, who's supposed to go? Lot. Who's supposed to choose first? Those in Lot. Abraham. And Abraham said, Guess what? This place is too small for us. Why don't you choose first? If, if that was you, what would you do? No, 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 no. Actually, Abraham took care of Lot. Abraham was Lord uncle. Go read the scripture. He was Lord uncle. Lord Abraham's brother died. Lord was by himself. And he took him in to take care of him. That's what happened. But I blame, it's our father, but I blame Abraham. I'll tell you what. Oh, this is a message. I, I just got, God has increased spirit of wisdom today. Amen! Woo! So preach the gospel in the another level. I'm serious. Whoa. I'm serious. God is good. Hallelujah. I've got mine. Come on, tell you.
a good one. I got mine. I have mine right now. You know why I said I blame Abraham? God did not tell Abraham to take love with him. Oh God, this is another message. That is God. God. God didn't say that. What did God say? He said, leave the country you are in and go to a land that I'll show you. Do you know why God didn't tell him where he was going? <laughs> we got to preach this other day. <laughs> huh? He didn't tell him where they were going. He said, just go, I will tell you. Because God realized Lot was with him. Amen. God knew that Abraham would take Lot. Yeah. If he wasn't taking love, God is a good God. Ah, God right. is ongoing. God knows everything. Yeah, that's right. Come on. He will tell Abraham where he's going. He said, if I tell Abraham, the blessing is going to take this guy with him. Right. But this guy is sweat. <laughs> God is he's greedy. On. Thank you. Love was greedy. He said, no, I won't take him. I'm giving the revelation God gave us, God's about to do for financier. Amen. Raise up some financier in this ministry. Amen. And it's people that are kingdom minded, Amen. not worldly minded. Amen. Love was worldly minded. Amen. Abraham was kingdom minded. Amen. What are you doing with worldly minded when you are kingdom minded? Woo. Come on, Pastor. Amen. Uh -oh. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Yeah. He took, took him, and Abraham told him, you choose false. If it was me, I would not choose false. That's right. It was the main man. It was the visionary. I follow him. I said, no, I will not do that. Why don't you choose false? That's right. It was greedy. Yeah. <laughs> Every greedy yeah, so. person in your life must go. Amen. 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 No, I'm It will delay your breakthrough. That's right. That's right. All they will try to do for you to give order for them to get everything. Yeah. Yes. Amen. That's what he wants. Yeah. And I will stop. <laughs> when you read the paragraph in, this, in the Bible, the Bible says, Lord, look. Yes. And he saw Sodom. That's right. Palm tree. Palm tree. He saw light, beautiful. <laughs> nice stuff yeah. in the wall. That's yes. right. That's right. Yeah. He wanted to whoa, this is nice. <laughs> and he chose false. <laughs> and he went to where? Sodom. And Sodom represents worldly city. Yes. Was a worldly city. Yes. He went there. Oh God, I'm bad the scripture I'll show you. The Bible says after Lot left. God told Abraham, now, yeah. yeah. lift up your eyes yeah, right. and see. That's you know what that means? Yeah, you when you are associated yeah. with law, you can't see the vision. Yeah. Until it is separated. Yeah. And God told us, we were praying and fasting since Wednesday, praying and praying. So you want to raise up financier in this ministry. Amen. Guess what we did? We pray Amen. for you Amen. here in this Amen. church. Amen. The only thing that will hinder that if you have Lord. Yes, bad position. Yes. I study the word Lord. You know what it means? Veil. Veil, thank you. Amen. That's exactly what it means. It means veil. Yeah? My love. That's right. If you go long, it means veil, covering. That's right. That's why Abraham could not see. Amen. Wow. Uh, he could not see. Because long was with. If you are with long, you cannot see the vision. When he left, God said, Now open your eyes and look. And look, he could not see. God was protecting him. For who? Abraham. Yeah. Are you with me? Amen. Okay, let's go into worship. Good morning, everyone. Lift up your hands to heaven. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. And begin to thank God. And begin.
need to bless God. I begin to talk to him for what he's about to do for you tonight. Begin to talk to him. I want to hear you. I want to hear you. What do you want from God? Is he healing? Thank him for it. Thank him for your healing. Thank him for your miracle. Thank him for your deliverance.
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your miracle. Restoration. 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 The Lord will restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. We heal you. In the name of Jesus. And the anointing of freedom. Thank 
opportunity will begin to look for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you will continue to grow in favor of God and favor with man. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare breakthrough for you. I declare spiritual breakthrough for you. I declare financial breakthrough for you. I declare material breakthrough for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let spirit of might to do mighty things come upon you now. Now take it, take it, take it, take it, the name of Jesus. Take it. Spirit of might, big transactions, big businesses, in the millions. I say in the millions. It's like you don't have that kind of faith in the millions. When I say millions, I'm not even hearing the shout, Amen. I say in the millions. In the millions. For kingdom purpose. As a financier of the kingdom of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ.